my name is Cody Brown. I'm a member of St. John Lutheran Church, and I'm currently serving on the Congressional Council. Our beautiful church was constructed in 1861, as a, originally constructed as a log cabin, until 1886 when a new brick structure was built. That brick structure served as a center for worship until 1960 when this structure was built. Uh, when the church was originally settled, it was settled by German families. In 1890, uh, the church built its first parsonage, and in 1895, it built a separate uh, building to house Sunday school. Although the parsonage has been remodeled and expanded upon several times, three of the rooms from the original parsonage still exist in the parsonage today. The Sunday school building has been torn down and since being replaced by a very large youth center that is currently under construction. In 1930, the church started a community picnic. Uh, they would invite the community in, they would serve hand cranked ice cream. That event became very popular and is still today one of the more beloved events in our community. It's now known as the St. John Lutheran Ice Cream uh, Social. This year, St. John is celebrating its 160th year, which is quite a landmark for churches anywhere, especially in this area. Storybook ministry uh, is where we go into local county jails and prisons and allow the inmates to select a book, record that book, and then send that uh, CD and the book to the child. It helps establish a bond or establish a connection between the child and the parent that's been broken due to their incarceration. We've been involved with that ministry for probably about the last 15 years. We saw the changing of the times and with all the attacks on Christianity and in churches, we established a security team here at the, at the church, active police officers and retired police officers and correctional officers that um, take an active role in the security of our church. We also have a uh, defibrillator machine that we can use in case of medical emergencies. Ice cream social we have here every year says we pull in 1,500 to 2,000 people almost every year. We have this social. We churn about 300 gallons of ice cream every year. We've been doing it for, I keep hearing 100 years. It probably is. It's probably been 100 years. And uh, it's just one of the biggest things when I came to this church and seen the first year of this social, how much it just brought this church together. Every pastor we've ever had here has pitched in and helped us and it, it seems like it's their kind of their glory time because they see a lot of, you know, the TV cameras over here. This ice cream social is just a big part of our church and it's a big part of our heart. And we just got finished with our uh, annual rally day celebration, had a breakfast and a devotion to kick off the Sunday school year. And we do offer Sunday school for all ages, uh, preschool through adult, uh, all year round. We feel that's a very important part of our uh, faith walk here at St. John. We do partner with other churches in the area. We partner with uh, Vacation Bible School, we get a, a larger crowd, and uh, it's been a blessing with for the kids and the adults. We had an adult class with VBS also. Uh, we try to do monthly youth events. We go on a hayride. We go kayaking and usually have a devotion with every event we do. We went bowling. Uh, some longer trips we've took are to the Creation Museum and the Ark Encounter. Our youth also do participate in the uh, Youth Encounters Quake event in St. Louis every year. Got our website up to date, got new pictures, updated information, a history. We've been putting up sermons from our pastors, uh, videos and audio. We have recently started uh, the YouTube channel that has all that as well. We have Twitter, Facebook, and we even have a Pinterest page where not only you can find the uh, sermon videos, but you can also find recipes from our old cookbooks. We're just trying to stay in tune with the times with COVID. Got to new equipment so that if anyone was uncomfortable to come in, that uh, they can listen on their car stereos through our FM transmitter. And even though, like I said, we're a small congregation, but yet we are still trying to keep up with the times. I would like to thank my parents who started us coming to church here. I think it was 1942. And I also remember my confirmation to think back on it a lot. And also, I still remember my first Sunday school teacher. And... I'm just so thankful for that. I've been going to church here since uh, 58 years ago when I got married. I came from a Baptist background, so it was quite a change for me. I cannot imagine having any better place to go to church than here at St. John. 
This family at St. John has been a perfect family for me because all that we've been through, they've always been there for us. They've always, we know that they've always prayed for us through all the tough times that we've had. You can feel their prayers. You can feel their comfort when you need it. It's just been the perfect church for us. Altar Guild for me has been a, uh, just a blessing. And the ladies we work with are all so willing to do their part. We don't only take care of the altar. We do a lot of mission-type things, too. We've always had a country store at our ice cream social. With those proceeds, we've done several things here at the church. We've uh, put new flooring in. We've bought new pyramids for the altar. We bought one pastor... um, one of his robes that um, needed to be replaced. We all work together to do God's will. The consistent presentation of God's holy word is the basis for what happens here in this church. It serves as the foundation for all of our outreach, and we have a lot of things going on and a, a, a lot of history in this church. Don't Sue and I were married here, as were uh, a lot of the congregation, and uh, it keeps us uh, co- connected to uh, the historical families here, the families that have come through this church over time, and those who are here now. The church gave refuge to a Vietnam- Vietnamese family through its parsonage here. Um, it uh, participates in COPE and many other things that are a part of life today. When I walk through the doors of St. John's, I kind of feel like I'm coming here and saying, Lord, fill me with your word, fill me with your Holy Spirit, uh, fill me with forgiveness and the music. And it touches my heart um, to come here each Sunday and receive those things from God. I've attended church here at St. John Lutheran uh, my entire life. Um, This place has always felt like home to me. I've grown up with other, you know, members of the community through this church and it's it's always been a supportive church for me and it's also been a good place to raise my kids. As our children have grown that they've had a lot of support and guidance with our church family and that's been very important for me knowing that one day they're going to leave our church or our house and go out in the world. And I hope that the influences of the families here and us will strongly affect them and their opinions. Times are hard for Christians. That's so important. And I hope that everybody that comes to this church knows that that's been a big thing for our family in the future. One thing that I've done is started teaching Sunday school. um, And it was when my kids were little. So it's been 15 years I've been doing that and I realize how important that is um, teaching about Jesus to the little ones and how how excited they are about it and them knowing the basic stories of our Bible and, and faith and how that will help them grow in their lives. I've been going to St. John ever since I was a baby. We were both baptized here. My favorite thing about the church is the ice cream social. It's amazing to see how many people come out and are willing to donate to the um, recipients. Each year we have recipients that we choose and they receive all the donations. It's amazing to see how many people are willing to come together and give to those people and how many people in the church are willing to put forth time and effort to help the ice cream social come together. There's no way we could do the ice cream social without everyone's help. Whenever you're here you can just, if you want to go up and ask for a prayer or something, all you got to do is ask. People here are real encouraging. and Thank you for taking the time to watch our video and learn a little bit more about St. John and our congregation. If any of this interests you or if you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at sjlcmetro.com. That is sjlcmetro.com. Thank you.